22 years ago, I was in a cell like this in Turkey and being tortured a lot. It reminded me that time uh, I stayed only for one month in such a cell and then transferred to the prison, but the prison conditions were a little bit better. And it reminded me and, and I, I can't uh, imagine how a person can stay in such conditions for a long time and the barking of the dogs listening to this it's a kind of torture which is unbearable uh, for a person to be able to uh, live in these conditions so unfortunately I, I i felt that not only in turkey but also so-called all old democracies are not paradise for the people uh, as we have seen this so um, the, roof, the rule of law democracy and the human rights has been violated um, everywhere in the world and recently unfortunately more and more when it comes to the power uh, unfortunately democracies human rights and the rule of law is um, not uh, the priority for these powers and states. So. And what do you think, what you can do in your role now inside the um, Council of Europe and as a politician for Julian that he is out as soon as possible today, hopefully? Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I'm representing Kurdish people uh, at the European institutions in Strasbourg. And uh, we have uh, similar uh, situations. For example, our co-president Salahattin Demirtas is in, in prison and in such uh, conditions. Mr. Öcalan has been in an island prison for about 24 years and he's living in the same conditions. And uh, we are struggling for them. And of course, the situation of Assange is also the same. So, uh, I believe that the situation of such people should be on the agenda of such an institution which was created to defend the human rights, democracy and the rule of law in Europe. It should also always be on the agenda. I will try to do my best uh, to bring it to the agenda and push the UK state to release Mr. Assange. Thank you so, so much for coming here and supporting Julian and um, fight against his human rights violations uh, against human Thank you. Thank you.